Hey guys, I just took a Chinese lesson online and because I wanted to be able to hear the teacher well, I turned off my background sound, which is usually my air purifier. And it's been about, I don't know, about 20 minutes since the lesson was over. And I just realized that I have tinnitus. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. Like it's there. It's, it's a pretty loud ching, <laughs> but like, it's just, it's kind of out of my mind. I wasn't thinking about it. And then just now I thought about it and it reminded me I should come and make a tinnitus video. <laughs> um, one of these nights, maybe I'll try uh, sleeping with no background noise, but I kind of prefer it. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of sitting here looking at my phone. I was reading about Prince Charles uh, and the coronation. And uh, then, I, I mean, the sound's been here the whole time. I was sitting here just hanging out, but I just didn't think about it. It's it, it just one of those things. Um, so that's kind of my, my job here at this channel is to try to help you find a way to do what I did because what I did was very torturous. It was, I went through a tough time where just months of not not sleeping, being anxious. And uh, now I don't really care about the sound. And it's quite a transformation because I thought it would be impossible. Um, so I guess one of the things that's happened is I learned to distract myself. But the beginning was not an easy process. And I would uh, often at night, I would do things like um, draw and I would find some some cartoon characters or something like that and I would copy it and I, I got some colored pencils and stuff I was not a very good artist but I learned and I and there were some tutorials I took online and I would try my best to focus on drawing the character and not think about my problems which extended beyond my tinnitus by the way but and uh I just got where I got better, but that time was really tough. But I would draw and it would kind of get my mind on the drawing and it would take me away from the tinnitus for a little while. Uh, may, maybe while I'm drawing, it was still bothering me, but not as much, you know, like I would, because I'd be thinking about the drawing. And I remember when I was studying Chinese, I would have a teacher and I hired a teacher. It was a cheap teacher I found on italki, A I, I like this, italki.com. And uh, they, they can teach different languages there, but I was studying Chinese. And for an hour, I would talk to a teacher and they would be teaching me Chinese and I would be trying to focus on what they were teaching me. So that was another distraction to help me, you know, stop thinking about the, the sound. And then um, I remember going to sleep was so tough. Uh, sometimes what I would do is I would read one page in Chinese and try to memorize uh, the story. And I would read the page, you know, a few times and then I would try to recount the story in my mind as I'm trying to fall asleep with the very, with the main goal is to try to focus on telling the story. Uh, not necessarily uh, verbally, but I could have, but it just in my mind, I would go through the, what the, how the story starts and what happened and the, you know, the series of things that were happening in the story and say that to myself. It could have just as been, Eng it could have just as well been English. It might have actually worked better. But I, I was trying to do it in Chinese. and But you see what I'm doing there is I'm trying to get my mind on that thing instead of on the sound. Because when you try to not think about something, that's the first thing you think about, right? So you, gotta, you have to try to find some ways to distract yourself. I remember I, I would play that game of solitaire with, with cards. Oh my gosh, I would play game after game just trying to not think about the tinnitus. And... Uh, at the time, I didn't really realize what I was doing was probably the best thing I could be doing, which is trying to find ways to distract myself because we build sort of a nerve network where we get really good at thinking about the tinnitus, so much so that it bothers us terribly. And it happens very quickly because all of a sudden the sound is on and it... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Twice. Okay, I'm okay now. So all of a sudden the sound is, it was, you know, is there and it was never there in your life before. And so quickly you build this nerve network where we got to fix this thing, got to fix it. And then, you know, you get really good at thinking about it all the time. 
So you, get, you have to try to break down that nerve network and try to get your brain onto other things. And that's, that's the hard part, is trying to find ways to not think about it. But if you try not to think about it, that's the very thing that makes you think about it. You know what I mean? So I gave you some examples of what I did, but you can think of some things too where you, you sort of tax your mind. Your mind has to think about this other thing because you're trying to do that thing. Write Chinese characters, read the book, re remember it, and then retell the story. Uh, sing a song and remember the lyrics and go in your mind, sing the song in your mind, trying to remember the song. Um, you know, drawing. Um, it, it could be follow something more active like yoga or an exercise video. Um, and I, I hired a teacher to teach me something and I spent an hour doing that. But um, as you can spend more time moving your, your brain waves onto other things, that, net, that strong network that's holding you so tightly into this thinking of the tinnitus, you can start to break it, break through, soften those <laughs> nerves and get some other nerves growing in, in directions away from your tinnitus and into, you know, helping your body to do cool things. Um, so, I mean, you could do a stretch routine every day where you, you that could, it's kind of relaxing and maybe get some books and, or extra, you know, do some exercises too and, and sort of have like a routine you do where you're trying to think about how to do that routine. Um, I think reading books uh, can be great where you're just trying to, as you read by a lot, read line by line, you're trying to keep your mind on reading each word and each sentence. And even if you don't know exactly what you're reading, but you're kind of like saying the words aloud in your mind, you're reading it and blah, 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 blah. You know, your brain gets kind of stuck, or stuck in a good way on, I've got to read this, I'm reading the next sentence, and I'm reading the next sentence, and I'm going to turn the page and go to the next sentence, and you're reading it. And, you know, it's like... You, you keep your brain on that thing. And that's an exercise in focusing on something besides your tinnitus. And you can get better at that. So that's the thing that is probably the hardest part to this thing that some people call habituation. I don't know about this word. It, it's, it's kind of a controversial word. Some people say there's no such thing or it's too loud. There's no way you can habituate, things like that. I mean, I certainly felt that way. But I'm, not, I'm only one person. But I, I do believe that regardless of the loudness that it might be or the differences in sound that you might have, you definitely can get better at sort of rebuilding the nerve network, about better at focusing your attention onto other things. Even if maybe you're not able to do it as good as me or maybe you could do it better than me, you know. But, um, you know, there's going to be a degree of improvement that you can get and you can make progress at being able to divert your attention. And then it's no longer a diversion after a while. It's what you want to do. <laughs> I'm getting good at drawing now. You know, I'm speaking Chinese now. <laughs> I've read 18 books. You know, I want to read more books. You know what I mean? So it's like it starts being something you want to do rather than think about tinnitus. And, it, you know, it sort of grows on you. So... That's my video for today. I hope I hope it will be helpful to you. And um, here I am, just hearing. It's very quiet now. The, the air conditioner was on and then it's turned off. So it's. I heard a morning dove outside, a bird. But uh, yeah, I hear the sound of the tinnitus. But it's it's just something that I have. I I can't change it, so it's okay. You know. Um, maybe I will try to go to sleep like this. No, I won't. I'll put on the noise. <laughs> but okay, well, you have a wonderful day or night. I'm going to sleep pretty soon, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.